Today, I want to teach you how to do a full photo shoot with just a tripod and a Bluetooth shutter, how to edit the photo and get the shot in under 10 minutes. All you need is, as mentioned, tripod, Bluetooth shutter, and whatever look you wanna shoot. Good lighting helps. Let's begin. So today is my 30th birthday and I wanted to wear a really cute outfit and something that I could kind of post on my feed and make a little announcement like I've been building up to this moment. So I, I feel like today deserves its own little statement and I needed to get the shot, but it's raining outside and I have nowhere to go because it's COVID. So I'm doing a photo shoot at home in my house, which by the way is really cute and the background of many photo shoots. If you wanna learn more about that, check out Boho House ATX on Instagram. Um, but for today's shoot, I thought, why not use my own home as a backdrop for once? Um, so I got my tripod out and found a really cool spot right in the middle of my home. Um, the In September, the light starts to hit my house, which is really cool. Um, we actually have, we have disco balls on the ground and whenever the light hits it, it cascades this really cool disco effect throughout the whole home. It's one of my favorite things of all time. Highly recommend everyone gets a disco ball. Anyways, enough of that tangent. Um, I basically looked around my house for a good spot where we had good lighting. I'm in another good spot right here. Um, actually, speaking of good lighting, I want you to see as I rotate my camera in a circle, ding, you'll see the lighting changes. This not ideal. I'm doing direct light right here, which is, I would say, the most ideal. Um, but this backlight isn't too bad either. So whenever the light is more, eh, it's not great. Maybe this. No, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna change my mind and say none of that's ideal except for this. But I hope, I hope I didn't make you dizzy and I hope you can kind of see what I'm talking about by why good lighting matters. So that's why if you have an open window in your home, try to find one that faces wherever the sun is. It doesn't have to be direct lighting, so, but just anything with full sun ahead, up above. Anyways, back to the photo shoot. Um, get your tripod and um, you can try different angles, but I think the best angle is like right where your body is. You'll see, you'll see. I don't have to show you now. You'll see in the thing. Um, and, and the thing is you're holding that camera shutter. Ooh, another tip. Make sure you have plenty of storage on your phone. If you haven't, if you have an iPhone and you haven't paid the $2 extra a month for that extra storage, it's worth everything. I also always buy the biggest iPhone storage. I know it's an extra few hundred bucks, but to be able to take unlimited photos and not worry about it is worth, it's also worth it for me to buy the extra storage. Anyways, I'm full of tangents and hacks. Back to the point, um, you are going to essentially hold the clicker. And honestly, this is easier by yourself. Sometimes it's like, you don't have, sometimes you get that kind of weird, oh, someone's taking a picture of me, I feel awkward. But suddenly you're by yourself and you can do anything. That's a little a little hint too, just in case you're kind of new to this and gaining confidence on how to take a, a picture with a tripod alone with a shutter. <laughs> um, not having anyone watching does kind of help. Uh, what's next? What's another step? Oh, okay, so once you got the shutter in your hand, honestly, just hold it and play around and dance around. You're gonna wanna do a do a bunch of photos and then go back and look through them. What do you like? What do you not like? Can you try that again and and like it even more this time? Try a bunch of poses, try a bunch of things. No one's watching, so be a little sillier than you normally would and you may be really surprised with what happens. So that those are my tips. Um I like to do so here's a few here's a few go-to poses. One, know your angles. I know my left side looks better for whatever reason. I think it's my scoliosis. Um, so I kind of always pose on that side. 
to work those angles. <laughs> um, but you, yeah, do what, do what works, do what you know works, and then try a few more things. So another thing I like to do is walk to and from the camera. And when you walk, it doesn't need to be a normal walk. You can kind of exaggerate those steps. Um, so when I, when I walk, I, I put one foot way in front of the other, like I'm walking in a zigzag almost. Um, and that kind of helps kind of create those curves and angles and movement, which is a really cool thing for photos. And other than that, play with your outfit, mess around, try, you know, I was playing with my hair a little, I played with my belt a little. And then another tip is to remember that this is a fashion shoot. This is not you casually walking down the street um, in the outfit you're wearing. So you can do a few things to make your clothes fit better. For example, the shirt I'm wearing is actually a little big. So I just tied, got a hair tie and tied up the back to be super tight and then tucked it under itself. And I might go outside like this, we'll see, cause I don't really care. But for the photo shoot, I tied it extra tight and it was really bulky in the back, but I'm only taking pictures of the front of me. So you can't really tell, which is great. And that's honestly on set. There's a few like viral videos of people on set where they look amazing and then they turn around and you can see the like hundreds of like pins and what are those called clamps like all down their back because clothes off the rack don't fit anyone that great. So you gotta do what you can to make it fit better for you. Okay, I think that wraps up my tips. Next, I'm gonna show you how, how I edit my photos. Um, I'm gonna do a voiceover for that, so. All right, we are going to go into our Photos app and look at those pictures I just took. Uh, I took a whole bunch because I really wanted to get the point across. <laughs> oh, and the, my birthday flowers, so pretty. Okay, um, so let's start from the beginning and just scroll through all the photos. Oh my God, is this disco effect not amazing? I think the photos got better over time, so I'm gonna go really quickly. Honestly, that's kind of cute. So I'm gonna scroll through them. And when I come across one that I like, I'm going to heart it. I'm kind of, ooh, I like that. I'm going quickly because I know I took better ones later on. It's kind of fun. Oh, that's a cute smile. Okay, let's try it. And there's some not so cute ones too, you know? It just it just kind of happens. Um, do, do, do. Ooh. Okay, I know there's better ones, so we can always go back if I think, okay, I like the big smile. I want like a big happy smile for this picture. This is my vision, big happy vision. I don't know, my neck looks tight there. That looks happy, that looks fun. Uh, let's keep going, trying too hard. Ooh, she feeling cute, okay. Okay, that's all of them, cool. Okay, I thought there were more, but there's not. So now we gotta go back and try a few more. How do we feel? We like the big smiles. That one's, that one might be a winner. More big smiles? No, no, no. That's fun. No, no, I feel stiff. I like that because it's dancey. Okay, that's cute. Oh, by the way, oh, I should have turned my phone around. I was taking these on um, selfie screen, and now that I realize it, I really should have turned my phone around and done normal screen. That's kind of cute. I like this. I don't, I thought I had the one I wanted, but now that I'm looking, okay, yep, that's it. I like that smile. Okay. Okay. For the purpose of moving this forward, let's now hop into, we have our favorites, right? So now let's hop into um, ViscoCam. So by the way, here's a fun phone hack. All you have to do is swipe down and type in the app you want. You don't have to scroll through all your apps to find it. ViscoCam, it's mostly me in my house. So here we are. Um, I'm gonna insert all my favorites. So now that I'm on this screen, I might have a few different that I wanna insert. Around. I might leave some out. I like this one, I, like, I really like that one. Um, that one's cute, that one's cute, oh, that one's cuter. And let's stick with an artsy one, this one. 
importing five. Now let's open up this one, just because I really should have turned out turned it around and not been on selfie. Start with selfie so you can get a visual of like how everything looks, and then once you find poses you like, then turn it around. Anyways, I am now punching through my favorite uh, filters. I have a lot. I want it to look natural, but also bright. So I, I've been really loving the seas lately. Um, and I kind of use different filters for different things. See, this sea is... Actually, that's kind of cute. Um, the A's and the C's are my favorites. I also use these, but these are more for my house photo shoots, so they're not necessarily edited to what I love so let's let's go back let's erase that and go back to my c's Ooh, i also like to check out for this photo section but no my a's and my c's so do i like a6 a7 or a8 i like a7 so let's try that save as a draft and then let's also try my c's which are yeah c6 c7 c8 i kind of like c7 but less, I need it to be less orange, which we can do here. We type in HSL, reduce that satch. Oh, brightness looks good too. Yes, 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 yes. Contrast, a little brightness, a little. That's cute. Okay, now we save as draft okay now that we have those two different filters this picture was taken in the same exact setting so we only need one filter for all of them to see how we like it so i'm going to click paste to get a visual and now i'm going to click copy edits and then paste over those to get another visual so i kind of i like to compare a lot copy I know the steps might, it might sound kind of weird, but I really like to compare. I think I like the brightness and the boldness of my C's. So I'm going to um, edit it a little more, refine it just a bit. I don't think we need it super saturated. I also want it to be more on the pink side and C's can kind of be more on the warm side. So we're putting that pink back. I want people to know this is hot pink. And of course, I think the question could be like, why are you edit even editing it then? Hey, I like to edit, okay? It's fun. It is fun, that's why. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. So let's, again, save draft. Do you think, do you see how it's just kind of a bit bolder? So now we paste, and to paste, you have to always unselect that one for some reason. Paste, paste, paste. Ooh, fantastic. So now we're going to save all of those as we choose a favorite. Um, something else we can do is go into Facetune. Uh-oh, what's the last one going to be? Oh, very simple. Um, and we are going to open up our face and see if it needs any edits. Honestly, the, the grittiness at this point is now kind of cute. And I don't even need it to be tuned, so I'm going to knot that one. I'm just testing to see if I need to be tuned because I do have a few breakouts and I don't want those to be on camera. Um, but again, like Facetune can sometimes make you too blurry. I like this one. Oops. I like this one. We're going to save that one and save to camera roll. Did I do this one yet? Oh, I love that. I think this is the shot. Auto, uh, nope, that, now you can't see my face, so we don't need to face tune that one. Pew, pew, pew. What was the next one? Was that all of them? I don't remember. I don't think I need to do that one. Retouch, auto. That's nice. On this one, it doesn't hide, it doesn't take away my features because my nose is already kind of hidden. I'm going to show you, I'm going to be super picky just for the sake of editorial and show you that I can also crop out some acne really easily with the heel tool. 
Again, it probably didn't need to. I don't know if you would have noticed or if anyone could even notice for that matter, but just wanted to show you the heel tool is there. And save. Okay, while I'm in here, honestly, I think that might be it. So now we're gonna go into preview. This is the free app for planning your feed. And this is the feed I just posted for my birthday. I'm gonna delete these because they're live now. And I, these are just pictures I like. This this top one, I, I don't like, um, but I was just using it as a placeholder to kind of like look, see how it would look. So now I'm gonna decide if this looks cute in my feed. So, I think that one's been speaking to me the most. Ooh, a carousel. Oh, I don't need it. I don't need it to be a carousel. I just want one. Oh, there it is, that one. This one. And we're gonna share it right here and that's how it's going to look. Um, and then I probably won't share this for a while because it's been a lot of me. And I'm also about to have a really fun weekend with my friends. So I'll probably like, I know I'll be having more here. So this is what's happening here. Let's experiment a few more with a few more and see if there's like a better one. Oh, I also really liked this one, didn't I? I think actually, you know what, y'all, this was the one I really liked, which now looking back, yes, because for some reason, since I'm touching my hair in this one, I don't really want to be touching it in this one. And again, I know this is 2020 and the, the grid and the feed really don't matter anymore, especially because I have like a hundred followers. <laughs> Not going to lie. It's like a thousand. Um, so it doesn't matter whatsoever, but I'm just weird and picky. So yeah, no, this is the definite winner. Um, I am holding the thing in my hand. So let's go back to Facetune and see if we can crop that out. If not, no big deal. I think it's kind of funny and cute. Sale. Let's see if we can crop it out. And if not, it shall remain heel. Oh, actually, let's let me show you a different app. Retouch. Bing. Love this app. Open. Where's the pick? We like this one. I'm going to click object removal. Now I'm going to zoom in and see if we can get that out of here. It's a little tricky. Huh? Okay, yeah. Wait a second. Let's try again. Uh, maybe we don't need to be as close to the edge. Oh my god, y'all. Oh my god. Okay, wait. One more. Let's see. Let's back out and see. Okay, so here is the comparison. So the question is do you notice let's save it and see okay my thumb got a little blurry so i think i'll keep it okay one more thing i wanted to share that i forgot i want to show you how to change the background sometimes oh sometimes i love doing this where you change the background and you can literally upload any photo you want from your phone these are all me <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Which is, it's, it's the coolest here. Just for fun. Wow, that's so cool. Oh my god, should I do this instead? Oh my god, that's so cool. Wait, should I? <laughs> I'm literally coming out of my bouquet. What? So cool. Okay, so that is a um, hack. I won't do that right now. Maybe I will. We'll see. But I wanted to show you that. And defocus is another great one, um, cause it it it's like oh it like it's like that portrait mode effect or like DSLR. If you actually had a DSLR and actually took a photo in focus, it would have that blurry background. And Facetune does a really nice kind of allows you to edit it really well to make it a very realistic um, thing. So. The hardest part for me is always my wispies. So kind of just wanting to look, make those look a little more like naturally. Cause, cause, cause if this was a real DSLR, they would all be in focus because the depth of field would be actually focused on them. Um, so this is like a fake. So I, I just need to kind of go back through and yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work. 
But also, I've kind of gotten to the point where I don't really care because everyone knows what Photoshop is capable of these days and it's kind of like, would I rather just post the photo or like worry about that small detail, you know? Um, let's check the rest. I think the rest is good. So I like to turn it up all the way until I'm done just to help me um, color in the rest of the picture. It's a little weird down here. And same with uh, the ceiling, but you know what? No one but me is going to look, or trolls on the internet, which hopefully I don't have any, is going to notice that closely, right? And if they do, so what? Kylie Jenner obviously doesn't care if people can tell if she photoshops her pics, so we shouldn't either. All right, save and exit, done. All right, that wraps up my tips on how to get an amazing shot at home by yourself with just a few pieces of equipment. Thanks for watching. If you want more tips on how to do anything for anyone, please subscribe to my channel where I teach anyone how to do anything because I'm not great at a, any one thing, but I'm really good at figuring things out. My name is Elisa Loberfito and you are watching the Lisa Loberfito channel. Like, subscribe, comment, and let me know what tips work for you. If you do this, find me on Instagram and, and tag me. I'd love to see your pictures. I'll be posting mine. So if you also wanted to go to my Instagram and like, I don't know, comment, that'd be cool and fun and like cute. <laughs> okay, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.